welcome back. Woo! It's a hot one out here. Cannot lie about that. Um, at least there's some overcast now. But I am going to take a quick break and show you kind of a, a change on my Falcons that I had to do and am doing currently. So that way they're ready for a flip. Now, when I did the flip kit before, so for those of you who don't know, on a JKU, the Falcon usually has the two barrels down at the bottom and they have a big, thick offset bolt that's specialty to Terraflex. You drill out your lower shock mount and make it larger. I think it's probably like three quarters. I can't remember. And so that's hanging down and they have these skid plates, which but it's hanging down even lower under the JKU, it's already pretty low. So one of the things that I did is I wanted to flip it to get that extra um, protection and clearance. Well, now that I'm doing the dual triangulated rear, I also wanted to make sure that I rotated them 180 up top because I need to make clearance for my gas tank. So I'll walk you through the difference so that way you can kind of understand it and uh, if you're going to do it, you know what you're doing and you can make your own choices. So here's basically what we're looking at. So I originally was running these Falcons. Now they're for like a three and a half inch lift. Um, and I had a six inch lift on there. And so looking at, do I do extensions? Do I do standups, different stuff like that or what have you? So in the rear, these are the rear ones because I'll explain that. This is what's going to be on the bottom on a JKU. On a JL, this is up top. But this is on the bottom hanging out, and this is sticking towards the back. So it's pretty protruding. It sticks out like this, and there's a, a big old bolt that comes out through here, a stub. I don't have mine in there because I took it out already, but for those of you that have it, you'll know. And then the top part on a JK looks like that. You just bolt up into there. Um, here's the top part on like a Fox. So the difference is, is that's on the bottom, whereas I switched to the Fox because that's now up top. I didn't like these. They were kind of crummy. They blew out. Obviously, I took a bend in it. And then the other one, <clears throat> the, the hose got all jacked up. Anyways, I digress. So one of the things that you got to do in flipping it is changing over because now that's at the bottom. You can't use that on the bottom. It's got to be a bolt through. And this big stub up top that's usually there, it's like a three inch bolt. Obviously we can't use that. So I ended up picking up these that were for a six inch lift um, from one of the guys out here. And I've been using it. The funny part is the difference of the six inch versus the three and a half is basically an inch, inch and a half in length. It's kind of funny. It's not three inches. Anyways, um, which was already taken care of. So they were already bolt throughs on there. And there's a couple different things that are made as far as giving you more length though, which I looked at. So Terraflex makes these. And so what this is, is it would allow you to still use this with this type here and have it stand off, right? It's upside down. Anyways, there you go. Which would give you more height on those. The the top one here in the frame didn't care for that, right? Because I didn't want that much of a standoff. Um, plus, I wanted to flip it anyways. So I wanted to go ahead and use the bolt-through method. So I ended up getting these kind of mounts. These bolt straight through where those would normally bolt through. And then you have a straight bolt through. So this ended up on the end of this with a bolt through it here. And this is on the top now, right? So, and then the bottom just bolts through on it. Now, if you've already installed these uh, Falcons on a JK and drilled it out, you're gonna have to weld in um, washers, reducing washers on there. Weld washers to get your whole diameter back down to the normal normal diameter. But when I was doing my, it's flipped and it's like this, right? So it's, excuse the giant mess. Anyways, if you watch my videos, I got a messy garage right now. 
This is facing back towards where the exhaust would be up top, right? Now, because the new gas tank I got from Motobilt's in the way, I had to rotate these 180 degrees and have this towards there. Now, there was a bunch of bracketry in their way, which I cut away and I still had some issues. So what I needed to do was drop this down a little bit in order to go ahead and get my clearance on it. And what I chose to do, and you'll see in my video when I share it, I made these to just go ahead and add to this. They're quarter inch thick, so I gave myself an extra half inch, right, bolting through. I could have used these, but I did not want the inch and a half that's on there to go ahead and go for that. So let's go ahead and walk you through what I, you have to kind of order or do in order to do the quick thing. So nice part is, is Terraflex already has this ready. I've already converted and fixed up this one, uh, changed out brand new bushings with the, well, I don't even know what you'd call those, through there. Now those ones are ready to go. The reason why I'm redoing the three and a half inch lift one versus the six is because I raised up the lower mount when I went ahead and switched stuff. So I've cut away the mounts for the shocks and I've raised them up a couple inches in the lower half. So now this will be the right size shock and I'll get even more clearance than I had before. All right, let's go ahead and knock this pig out. Maybe it's the other way. Dang. Dang, Gina. I knocked the other one out so long ago, I have no idea what I did. Frickin' taking everything you got. Dang. Oh, about broke my hand. Plan B. Plan B. I'm going to cut around this thing and see if we can get it to come out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut the lip off to allow it to push through with the rubber. The other one, I don't remember what I did to get it off, but I don't care what I did. This is how I'm getting this pig off, because I am sweating to death out here. Now I should be able to hit that out without having to go all crazy, so. Well. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm destined for a embarrassing video. All I need to do, there it goes. See, I need to get this rubber to come out with it. And then I won't have that stupid thing in there anymore. There we go. Jeez, that took a lot to win. All right, there's one side out. This side, we already have that piece out, should be a lot easier. Because all you have to do, that was terrible, is cut this ring out. Let's go around it. Cut the lip off. All right, there we go. And then, all I did is take myself 11 16 socket, put that up on that. And there you go, pop it out. Just take them over to my press, which I got for when I did gears, and just press that in. Because if you want to fuss with that in another way, good luck. Grease it up, lube it up, whatever. I'm going to take this right over to the press and get it taken care of.
Come on, baby. Quit twisting. Quit twisting. Quit twisting. There we go. In a lot. Here's what we got. So fully pressed in. Go ahead and do the other side. So my recommendation, have a press or a friend with one, and then you'd be all right. All right, we're through. Skin's a little bit of the rubber off, but that's all right. And then now, let's go ahead and pound in those sleeves. Right there. There we go, we're through. So, yeah, I obviously made that look harder than it is, or maybe I made it look just right, but you've made it this far, go ahead and push that subscribe button down at the bottom, leave a comment, laugh, whatever. This was kind of a little bit of a, of a joke of a turnout on the video, but at the end of the day, this is done. Now these are ready to go in. I have the right length for the reduced stroke on the shock mounts, and this is going to be awesome. Thanks, guys.